Hi everyone, it's Rania from Rania On Demand. So since I've got a few clinical shifts under my belt now, I thought that for today's video, I would show you the bag that I use and the things that I take with me to my shifts. So it's basically just a what's in my bag video. So first I'll begin with the bag. I showed this in my nursing school essentials video, but I'll go into a little bit more detail this time around. So this is a Roots bag. I got it from Winners or Marshalls. I'm not really sure which one. Actually, I think it might have been Marshalls. Whatever, they're pretty much the same store. Anyway, I got it from one of those stores for like $30, so it was really inexpensive. And I think it does the job. I'll tilt it over a little bit so you can see. It's got three compartments, so it's got this large zip compartment in the middle, which I'll show you last, but it's got these um, side compartments here that close with magnetic buttons, one on each side. Okay, it's like, this is the worst angle. <laughs> oh my god, this is the worst angle. I don't even know if you can see what's in here. Anyway, it's got a large compartment in the middle with these larger pockets on each side with magnetic buttons, with a zip pocket on the back here. And in this pocket, I just keep my car keys, a little thing of hand sanitizer, and some coffee chains. So in here, I just pretty much keep little things that I don't want to be digging around for. Alright, so next I'll show you the front pocket. So that's just right here. In here, I keep my stethoscope. So in my nursing school essentials video, I did talk about how I do have a stethoscope case, but I don't use it ever. Um, I just find that it's so bulky and I just, I don't need to be carrying that around. So I just throw this straight into my bag and it still works. So what do I need a case for? Then I've got my notepad, my pens and my pen light. So this front pocket here is pretty much where I keep the things that I actually need to use. And that way when I get in the unit, I can just stick my hand in this pocket, grab everything I need, and go. Okay, so you'll see the last thing that I keep here in this pocket is my ID. So I actually just keep it clipped on the inside. That way also I can just reach in, grab it, and stick it on my scrubs. I did used to keep it hanging off the outside of my bag, but as you may have seen in my last video, I lost my ID in the parking lot that way, so now I keep it hanging on the inside of the pocket. Smart. So when we arrive to our placement, we actually have to change into our scrubs on site and then back into our clothes again before we leave. So in this back pocket here, I just keep some plastic grocery bags, that way I can throw my dirty scrubs into them because I don't know what kind of nasty microbes are on them and I don't want that dirty stuff touching anything in my bag or my car, or my house. So my dirty scrubs go in the grocery bags and then when I get home, I just throw them straight into the laundry. Okay, so now I will show you what I keep in the center compartment. This is actually the worst angle ever. I should have shown you this like on a table. So in the zip compartment here, this is kind of more or less how it looks when I get to clinical. Yeah, great angle, right? <laughs> So at the side here, I've got this green folder. This I use just to keep any assignments or any paperwork that our clinical instructor may give us. And then I keep my makeup bag, even though I don't really wear makeup when I'm at clinical because what's the point? I'm wearing a mask with a face shield over top. Nobody can see me, but as I also mentioned in a previous video, I like to carry my eyebrow pencil around because Sometimes I accidentally wipe away my eyebrows and then I'm stuck walking around like a crazy person. So I carry my eyebrow pencil and just chapstick and stuff in there. Here, so I don't have a sandwich in it right now, but this is my reusable sandwich bag. I've got a few of them. Again, I got this, actually I got these from Winners. Yeah, so there's just reusable Ziploc sandwich bags and they can be washed in the dishwasher. I have talked in a few videos before about how I try to cut down on my waist and I try to cut down on plastic. I know I have those plastic grocery bags in the back of my bag, but I actually do <laughs> reuse those as well. Once I feel like whatever dirty stuff might be on my scrubs has died, then I'll use those to like either line my garbage bins or just reuse them for my scrubs again. 
But anyway, yeah, so these, I, uh, I try to cut down on my plastic use, so I like these because they're reusable. Um, I got a pack of four of these from Winners for probably like $10, I think. And yeah, they're reusable, they go in the dishwasher, they're pretty great. And yeah, I keep my sandwich in here. I usually bring two sandwiches with me. One I eat during my break, and the other one I eat on my drive home. And then a pack of Kleenex, because I always need Kleenex. So, I mentioned before that we have to change into our street clothes before we leave clinical, so I... Yeah, so I've got jeans and a shirt that's really easy to throw on. I, You actually saw me wear this in my last video, so I just... I just grabbed like a comfy shirt that's easy to throw on so I don't have to waste time changing in the bathroom. And so you'll see inside here, kind of, that I've got this pink purse organizer. I'll show you that in a second. Also happens to be filled with like alcohol pads. Yeah, so I got this purse organizer off Amazon a little while back. I don't actually use, I keep it in here just to give my bag structure because otherwise it's very slouchy and I hate slouchy bags. I like structure. So this, I just use it to, so the bag stays upright. But it's a purse organizer that I got off Amazon a little while ago. This, I think it was like $15. I don't actually remember. It's just a felt organizer. It's got a whole bunch of pockets on the outside and the inside, which I don't use. Hold on, there's stuff sliding around. And it also came with like a divider across the middle here with a zipper pouch as well, but I took it out because I need all the space I can I can use. And lastly is my water bottle because you've got to stay hydrated, especially when you're working long shifts, especially when you're working in the hospital because it is such a dry environment. I feel like the second I step on my unit, like all the moisture gets like sucked out of me and I'm just constantly thirsty and constantly dry. So I always have my water bottle with me. So yeah, that's it. That's the bag that I use and I showed you pretty much everything that's in it. Everything that I take with me, with the exception of my scrubs, I didn't show you that because like, they're scrubs. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed looking at all my things. I know they're not very interesting, but I I try to carry as little with me as possible anywhere I go, whether it's to class or clinical or I'm traveling, just I don't like carrying lots of things around. So yeah, my bag has minimal stuff in it, but I feel like it's all the essential stuff. So yeah, I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.